Okay, in this uh, video, I want to show you um, how to fix a computer, a Dell computer to be specific, um, that has an issue with the battery uh, not being recognized. And um, we'll go ahead and bring up the exact uh, message here from Dell. There's a couple of troubleshooting things uh, that you can do to fix it. One is the obvious, and one's not this not so obvious. Um, but um, this particular uh, this this is a netbook. This is a Dell Mini um, uh, 1015. Make double sure here. Yeah, Inspiron Mini 1012 actually. And as you can see here, the the error message is warning. The battery cannot be identified. The system will be unable to to charge this battery. Strike the F1 key to continue, F2 to run setup utility. So if we go ahead and press F1, and we'll see if our battery's charging. What I did was I went on eBay and bought a brand new one. Um, you can get them brand new anywhere for 10 or 15 bucks. Um, I wouldn't pay any more than that. And that's the first thing we do. And then when you bring your when you go over your battery icon, if you put your cursor over the battery icon, it's going to say plugged in and not charging. Now, that could be one of three things actually. Um, number one, it could be your charger. Number two, it could be your battery. And number three, it could be in BIOS. It's got the wrong BIOS set up. Okay, if it's the charger the Dell Dell uh, chargers have little chips in them, and sometimes the chip um, the chip goes bad, or somehow you got a hold of one that doesn't work for your particular Dell. Um, I would recommend um, first trying out the battery, and if the battery don't work, you can try the BIOS, and then if that doesn't work, then you want to go to the charger. So. I went to the obvious solution first would be it's got a bad battery. So I picked one up on eBay and that's very easy to do. Um, you just go to eBay, type in your model number. So on this one I typed in uh, Dell Inspirion Mini 1012 battery. And I go buy it now, lowest first. Okay, and you want to make sure you get a, a brand new one if possible. And then, um, and then it took about a week for me to get it. set up here all right so as you can see here I bought a brand new one and I'll go ahead and plug her in here and let's see if we get the error message Now the indicator light was blinking orange and it's not doing that anymore. So I'm assuming that the battery is the problem. And we'll be able to find out for sure when we put our cursor over the battery icon, it'll say charging. And while that's loading up, I can automatically tell I didn't get the error message, so that must be working. Now if that doesn't work, and by the way, this works with all Dell computers that have this problem, this solution. Next, we'll go into the BIOS. And I'll go ahead and show on the desktop here um, what to do. What you can do is just go on Google and you type in Dell drivers. And you want to make sure you're going to the white right page. It's usually the first one that comes up, but make sure you're going to the website that says dell.com slash whatever. And then um, as you can see here, drivers and download. Um, and then you can browse for products. And of course we're going under a laptop. 
Uh, this particular model is an Inspiron. And then we'll go to, um, we'll find the model, it's Mini 1012. Here we go. There it is, Inspiron Mini 1012 late 2009 model. And and I'm looking at this on my desktop, but of course you're going to want to do this with the laptop that's got a, uh, a an issue with it. Now as you can see here in BIOS, what you're going to want to do is you want to download that. And what that'll do is it'll it'll, it'll back it up or it'll give you an update that should take away the, the problem with the battery. Um, this might have occurred when you installed the new operating system and um, what it's going to do is you're going to have you can keep your laptop plugged in of course and then you're going to run the BIOS uh, update this update was done on 2011 now you can have a Dell Studio, you can have a Dell, different Dell Latitudes um, uh, different, different series this should work with the same problem but instead of uh, Dell and Spiron Mini 10, you want to go with Studio or whatever, whatever you have. Now, here's the problem. You have to have your battery charged up halfway in order for it to work, uh, or it will not, it will not take the download. So, most likely your battery is going to be completely drained, right? So, you're going to have to still buy a battery, and that's what I would recommend you do: is go buy the battery. And now this is if the battery, of course, is not the issue. The issue is in BIOS, but you still need a battery that's halfway, that's halfway uh, filled up. So go buy a battery, uh, a new one, and and usually the battery is going to be at least halfway full when you buy it. All right, and then you want to you want to install it in your computer, and then you're going to run BIOS, and that should fix the problem. I've had a few Dells where that was the problem and I updated BIOS and that fixed it. Um, and then um, and then if you want to return the battery you can. You know they'll give you they got 14 days to where you can return it. Uh, now if that doesn't fix the problem on your Dell you're going to want to um, uh, try a different charger and you can go on eBay and um, you know type in whatever your model number Dell is and hit charger and try to fix it. If you can find someone locally that has multiple chargers, you know, I'm not talking about uh, one of the, the chain stores, but I'm talking about someone local that would have multiple chargers ready to, to try, you can bring it to them and see if that will solve your problem. Alright, that is my solution for the problem with the Dell battery not charging, not being recognized. Thanks so much.